you are starving, you will do anything for a good meal. Even eat a deer on the side of the road. <laughs> hey, my name Holy is Lana. Shit. It's my kidneys. I got a month to live. Jesus Christ, that escalated quickly. Holy shit. He's in a straight jacket. It's in a straight jacket. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. My story in Fabios. It has a read me. Okay. It says, this is an animated My Story collection of videos. What is My Story, you ask? Well, My Story, as defined by me, is YouTube content mill type videos that focus on a character going through a tragic or crazy event in their life and coming out on top to be a billionaire with 100 model waifus and husbandos. These definitely happened in real life and are not just made up for wish fulfillment and or views. Nope, definitely not. My fiancé said no at the altar. Our whole wedding was a prank for his subscribers. <laughs> Dissolution. <laughs> Could you say Sigma? There was an experiment to create a dream guy robot. We created a male model and added a set of the right qualities. I was excited, not knowing what my robot would do in the evening. Dude, what if this is just another prank for that guy's subscribers? And like the whole thing, the whole thing is just not happening for real. It's just another prank. Women crowded Chris, but he was only loyal to me. We had to leave before anyone found out Chris was... I love this guy, by the way. This guy's face is, is amazing. Look at this guy. <laughs> what a loser. She bought herself a robot. <laughs> a real <laughs> man would never love her. Only a clunk of metal. He, he's, he's vlogging this. He's vlogging this. He's, vlo he's vlogging it. <laughs> this guy fucking rules, dude. Dick wouldn't back off and invited me to his baby's gender reveal. He wrote my robot would never knock me up. <laughs> he wrote that? <laughs> Why do I doubt he wrote that in the fucking... No, the implication is that he wrote that in the invitation to the gender reveal party. <laughs> hey, that robot's never gonna knock you up, you bitch. Signed, Dick. <laughs> P.S. You suck. Come to my gender reveal party. <laughs> like... Dick announced it was a boy and the news got 100,000 <laughs> views. Then he declared himself the prank king and I was his inspiration. My disgrace at the wedding and the poll made him a bucket of money. <laughs> now the climax. You found your perfect match. A robot. Dick proudly announced he'd invented the whole experiment. I called this. I called this. Your perfect man got me pregnant. I bet your subscribers I'll be a parent before you. That very morning, Chris came clean. I really thought it was an experiment, not a cruel prank. In that time I saw- The music is so epic. Saw yeah. how incredible you are and fell for you. I gave Dick his <laughs> test results. He was infertile. We're, su we're supposed to be like, ha ha, dick. Dick sperm don't work, you know? <laughs> I loved you and didn't care. I didn't want to upset you. Yo, and she published his, his, his fucking infertility results to the subscribers on YouTube. I won the bet. I am pregnant and you're a cuckold. The baby's <laughs> not yours. This broke the internet and got 10 million views. The best revenge to the man who offended you is to become happy and in love. He's in a straight jacket! It's in a straight jacket! <laughs> this is fucking awesome! This is awesome! What the fuck? This channel's amazing! What's better? A real man or a perfect robot? I don't know, because that doesn't make any goddamn sense, because you, you, you never fucked a robot because it was a guy. The moral of the story is that dumping your wife and ruining her life will get you one million views. <laughs> I love this face and the, and the phone. Hold on. Can I, can I try to... You like that? <laughs> you like that? 
My hubby came from work five times bigger. It's my kidneys. I got a month to live. Jesus Christ, that save... escalated quickly. Holy shit. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Piss ice cream? You must love me like this. After all, I put up with you, Chubber. He called her Chubber? Lobby Chubber! Lobby Chubber! You can come back to the bedroom when you lose 220. When I Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fucking shit, what? I woke up to a terrible odor. Yo, Steve shit the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Steve shit the bed! I saw Steve. I lost 220 ounces so I can sleep in bed with you again. I almost suffocated under him, but then the floor couldn't bear the weight. <laughs> My arm hurt terribly and Steve was- Dude, this can't be for children. This can't- This is- What did we find? What is this? This is not- This can't be fucking for kids, dude. This is for wine ants. Why would a fucking Facebook ant, wine ant be watching this on YouTube. Can you explain that to me, please? Why would Facebook moms be watching this? If I'd seen Steve without clothes, I'd have known it wasn't him. Are you trying to tell me this isn't Steve? It's a doppelganger? In a fat suit? Wait, that's not Steve's penis. <laughs> I spent... <laughs> Dude, I can't believe the comically the bed falling through all the different floors was actually like a major plot point and not just a joke. <laughs> I overcame disgust and wiped his every fold. <laughs> Dude, she's honestly like, yeah, like, like Steve sucks, but I feel like she's coming off like extra fucking like, like she's a piece of shit, right? That's when I saw an appendectomy scar. My husband had never had surgery. I called the cops. It is wife. It, it is husband swap. Let He's me go. I'm a poor, miserable orphan. In foster care, Kurt learned of his twin brother and followed him. <laughs> Fuck you! He envied Steve for having a home, a job, and a wife. Determined to take Steve's place, he kidnapped him after his <laughs> night shift. Fuck you! But after an accident... <laughs> Look at the fat... <laughs> the fat job ...and a wife. Can laziness and self-neglect be justified with body positivity? That's the question, chat. Moral of the story, we hate fat people. This is this channel is off the fucking hinges, dude. Husband hit a Yeah, okay, th this one has Dick the car. All right, we got the Dick is back, guys. Looks like Dick is back on the menu, boys. The name of the file is 3D print yourself a wife, okay? And there, that, that's, that's Dick, he's back, Dick is back. Very nice. Husband hit a slim me in the basement. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing already. What do you mean he hit a slim you in the basement? He cloned you? <laughs> what the fuck? What? I got home from work to catch my husband with a lover. Turned out it was a 3D printed model. <laughs> this stud deserves no less than a perfect 10. Uh, can we get some sigmas in here, please? It was dangerous to lose weight due to my metabolic disorder. Then I'll become the best plus size actress. <laughs> that's the fuck. That's the. That's where this is going. Okay. Okay. All right. While washing away the tears, I saw his. <laughs> I'm washing away the tears. 3D printed model walking by. Scared, I called the cops, but the dummy wasn't alive. She stayed with my husband, while they sent me for an evaluation. <laughs> Maybe I was just seeing things, but I wasn't. They put her in a fucking straight jacket. Crazy. Dick <laughs> didn't let me in and said he wanted a divorce. Dude, his name is Dick too. They're using the same name. This fucking rules. I confronted Dick and all the pieces fell together. I wasn't seeing things. His 3D model was his living lover. <laughs> Yo, you gotta hand it to Dick. He's fucking crafty, dude. The copy was lying under the bed as a cover-up. 
And, and here I was, believing my husband enjoyed getting his penis sliced on jagged plastic. My husband got a Razzie award. His lover had nothing but looks. <laughs> Holy shit. I landed an Oscar and a ton of roll offers. Dick caught me by my limo. He bade for a fresh start, and I invited him over. I had also 3D printed him. So a girl like you couldn't get over someone like me. I use it as a coat rack. That's all you're good for. Damn. Whoa. Whoa, that's fucked. She invited him over just to fucking, like, just, just to, like, mic drop his ass. Yeah, just to, like, own his ass. Holy shit. Do you agree it's not cheating if it's not with a real person? Yeah, but it was with a real person. That was, like, the big twist of the entire fucking story. So what are you asking me that for, you dumb bitch? It's like they forgot their own story. <laughs> it is! I'm Rob. This is a story about Hi, Rob. something that happened to me during winter break. Burger King foot runners, number 15. Why would they? You're family. It's fine. This is, somebody I'll said, this is know. impressively terrible. I'm, um, look at her mouth. No effort was made. Oh, right. No, no effort was made to, to, holy shit. So I was pretty excited. I've always wanted to go there. But I had no idea what was about to happen to me. Nothing? Then, a few months later. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> right here. Right, this 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 clip right here. This right here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Go on, eat up. Okay. What's the matter? <laughs> full already? You don't like it? What? No, no, of course not. It's delicious. Uh, m maybe this was like animated to like other another language. And then when they translated it, they just didn't bother to reanimate the mouth movements. No, it's just automated. It's even lazier. But that night, I got diarrhea. <laughs> I could barely sleep. I couldn't stop going to the bathroom. Dude, he couldn't sleep because he was up all night fucking riding the Hershey Highway. Holy fuck. He shat so much, he's exhausted. Dude, sometimes, like, like, a, like a, yeah, like a monster shit. Like, I have to take a nap after. Like, you literally feel, like, like empty inside and you, you, and you fucking go, go pass out. The only way you come back from that is like a two-hour nap. Postpartum depression. <laughs> you all right? I knew it. The food you ate last night, it was rotten, wasn't it? What Yo, do you mean? What if his fucking parents, what if, what if her parents, like, are trying to assassinate him for some reason? Like, what if they're actually trying to kill him? Like, they don't like, like, they never liked him, you know? So they gave him, like, rotten fish and shit. My parents are pretty disorganized. They always buy lots of food at the grocery store, but they always forget about it, so... Ugh. They just never learn, you know? She, she, this, this is like, eh, she's like, every time I come here, I get food poisoning. And I just, I guess I just forgot to tell you. <laughs> you fucking bitch, you knew? You knew? <laughs> what? <laughs> So the food I ate last night, it was rotten, and you knew? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. She probably just forgot to check the expiration date on some of the ingredients. It was an honest mistake. She just does it, you know, constantly, like, over and over, like again and again and again. And what would they also eat the food? How are they still alive? Your dad, my dad moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My dad, he went to the doctor and they told him some shit where they were like, listen, you know, you have to stop eating like shit. It was probably about related to like his diabetes or whatever. So he freaked out, 
went to the store and like bought a bunch of food. Like he went to a ran a random store and bought a bunch of food that he thought was gonna like stop him from dying. Basically, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not kidding. He he apparently had like oh no, like he had a panic attack. This is rare. Usually he knows more than doctors, and he tells doctors go fuck themselves and shit like that. Usually, usually he ignores doctors. So he went to the supermarket, I guess, and he 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 went to an Asian supermarket. I, th I think like a Chinese uh, uh, supermarket, and bought like like you know you know how you, you you will see like a lot of fruits and vegetables that like that you don't recognize like they're not, like they're not gonna have these these fruits at like stop stop and shop you know what I'm saying or like or like like uh, shop right or whatever. He just went to a random store and bought a bunch of random shit and was like, I'm gonna fucking die! Came in through the fucking, through the, through the fruit and vegetables, like, at my mother and was like, I'm gonna fucking die! And then left. And we, we don't know where he is right now. <laughs> is he missing? No, he's fine. He's, he's just, let him cook. You gotta just let him cook, guys. Okay, then. I'll tell my wife to make you some. Dude, don't eat the fucking E. coli porridge. Oh, um, that's okay. I'll make it myself. Oh, okay. Then Joyce's brother and his family came over. Oh, I made some fried eggs. Want some? Stop! That's rotten! Yeah, don't eat it. You'll get diarrhea like Rob. You knew the food was rotten? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I can't... I can't even... I can't even follow this, dude. I, I can't even Wait, fucking follow this. no. Did you guys feed him rotten food? Not this again! <laughs> it is! It's real! They do it to everybody! They serially poison people! They, see, they, they do it! Bro, they get off on this. Like, they have a camera in the toilet. Like, what? And they, they watch the diarrhea. <laughs> they watch it! They make sick porn. <laughs> sick porn! You did the same thing to me when I lived here! You two haven't changed a bit! Come on, eat it. But we're old. It's not safe. <laughs> we're, we're old. <laughs> and that, and that's the excuse every time they get caught. We're old. <laughs> so what do you expect? Well, what do you expect? We're old. What do you want from us? Shut up and eat your poisoned food. <laughs> what? Throwing out food just feels wrong. Just man up and eat it. Stop making <laughs> such a big deal out of this. Literally Mike's dad straight up my father would be like this absolutely my father would be like this That's it. I'm never coming back here again. What is he doing with a fuck a caveman club? Why is he unga bunga? I don't want you near my family Rob you too. You don't have to come back here. Yeah, fuck you too, Rob <laughs> What no, what about our grandchildren? Oh, he meant don't call okay And why are you defending Rob? Rob sucks! He got diarrhea! If he was strong, he wouldn't have got diarrhea! He tried to feed your daughter rotten food, too! Deliberately! Wow, why are her parents fucking sociopaths? Holy I shit. I checked the fridge, but everything was rotten. So I went out and bought everything. See? D dude, the music fucking rules. Why is this music amazing? We'd never do that to your daughter either, but Rob is a grown man. We thought he would be fine. <laughs> Rob is a grown man, so we deliberately gave him norovirus. <laughs> What is this, man? But I started hanging out with Joyce's brother after that. Y'all, the beer's rotten. He gave him a rotten beer. <laughs> Joyce apologized to me again and again. I thought about getting a divorce, but she did apologize to me, so I decided to give her another chance. What is this fucking Delfino Plaza shit? I told her she was on thin ice. You're on thin ice? I, the, you, you, that's strike two. All right, the next time you let your parents deliberately poison me for no reason, that's it, divorce time. Let's skip around a little bit. All, the, all this, all this looks, all right, all right, okay, this is interesting. Okay, here we go. 
If you are starving, you will do anything for a good meal. Even eat a deer on the side of the road. <laughs> hey, my name oh, is shit. Lana, but you can call me Smeagol. What? Dude, that went from zero to fucking light speed. What? How do you mean Smeagol? <laughs> what is this, man? What is this? If you are starving, you will do anything for a good meal. Even eat a deer. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Dude, that's roadkill. You get <laughs> Yo, my favorite ship dynamic. Would you know it's fucking gripping, somebody said. Mike, I can fix her. I fucked worse. <laughs> At school, I was known as Gollum. <laughs> Yo, they got Andy Serkis to do the mocap for this. So, at night, I had to take long walks to gas stations far away. There, I could scavenge the garbage cans to find food and other... Treasure. But <laughs> treasure! A treasure! Dude, the people animating this are out of their fucking minds, bro. But one day on my way back home, I found a deer lying by the side of the road. This is really gonna be the plot of, the, of this. Girl boss is gonna girl boss. I thought, my precious, we want it. We need it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with so these people? I what is wrong with these people, dude? Is, yeah, this is, is this for kids? This who's the, Who is this for? To see a girl that looked like Golem butchering a deer in the middle of the night must have been disturbing to people driving by, but it was worth it. I was able to stuff my face. You would think that, but they were all like, I can fix her. I didn't want to get arrested by the police, so I stopped looking for roadkill for two months. After just... Yo, they fucking set up a trap. <laughs> yeah, they, said, they set up a cryptid trap, dude. It took me a second to realize that it was a trap. Then a policeman jumped on the highway and screamed, Freeze! I didn't- What, is it illegal to look at a dead deer now? So I started running into the cornfield next to me. And then he shot me! Then I heard a loud bang Holy fuck! And something hit me. I was <laughs> shot! And here's one called A My Story Guide for How to Get Rich Through YouTube. All right, maybe we can, uh, maybe, maybe we, maybe we can, uh, get rich through YouTube tonight, guys. I originally thought my dad was a crypto investor. <laughs> I used to listen to my dad tell his story with excitement. I was so proud of him for taking such a lucky risk. Turns out he was lying to me and everyone else. <laughs> this, this idiot thought somebody actually made money from crypto. One night, I secretly took dad's phone. I knew his passcode because one time he had asked me to help him when his smartphone started bugging out. Boomer moment. I'm in, I murmured to myself. <laughs> Thank I'm in, hacker man for remembering a four digit passcode. That was probably one, two, three, four. I'm in. My stomach lurched when I saw the massive backlog of videos in the trash folder. I anxiously tapped the first one and started watching. In the video, there was a young woman tied to a chair. Oh, look, snuff porn, guys. When one of them started talking, I was shocked to my core. I recognized that voice. It was my dad's. My mom couldn't believe it. Is this true? Are you a criminal? How did you manage to keep this from me? She asked, <laughs> horrified. My dad looked unfazed. So what? Of course I lied to you. I obviously couldn't tell anyone that I kidnapped people for money. Everyone has a job. This is mine. <laughs> so stupid well dad honestly i'm just glad you're not a crypto bro i still love you at least he's not a crypto bro good ending yeah <laughs> i sat down on a hill to think about what to do next suddenly i felt something touch my feet i screamed in horror ants Shh, stop screaming they'll hear you please help me a voice said fearfully i pulled out the patch of grass from underneath me a window with bars became visible Apparently, my father and his men had built a hidden underground prison in this part of the property. That's fucking beyond stupid. Jesus Christ. I'll help you. I'll get you out, I said, kneeling. I locked eyes with the person inside the prison cell. And immediately fell in love. It was my favorite YouTuber, Mr. Beast. <laughs> Stop it! No! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! No! Get the fuck out of here! Get the 
the fuck out of here. No. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. Mr. 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 Beast? I stuttered. Yeah, it's me. I don't want you to save me. I just want you to get me a phone, please, he said. Don't you want me to call the police? I can call them if you want. No, I'm not going to call the police. I'll use the phone's camera. It's going to be a hell of a video. Imagine the title. I paid five million dollars as <laughs> ransom to my kidnappers to save myself. He would do that though, he would. It's going to be my most- He would! He would! You'll get to watch it when the video drops. Apart from the oh, first I video, can't wait. Mr. Beast did one other video that will be published after it's posted on YouTube. The video is titled, I gave $10 million to the person who identified my kidnappers. You guessed it right. That person is me. Thank you, Mr. Breast. Mm -hmm.